Hello again, and welcome to the Master's Voice. I am Celestial, and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers alike, you are very welcome. I advise that new people, if you've just found this place, the best and easiest place for you to start would be to use the playlists that are on the channel. I always recommend the playlist because if you are new to something and you want to be able to grab the most information as quickly as you can, that's if you are interested, the playlist has streamlined coverage of different prophecies that the Lord has given me since 2012. 2012 is when the Lord began giving me prophecy that is primarily focused on the nation of America, who America truly is behind the mask, all the things that America is guilty of, sins that are not known even by many Americans themselves. For God says that if America knew of the true depth of the evil that she is guilty of in the eyes of heaven, surely she would fall to her knees and repent. But because there is an iron cast over the hearts of people, they truly believe that this is a deeply Christian nation, that this is a nation of people who love God. But the Lord is always saying, these people are very far from me. My name is in their mouth, but their hearts are far from me. There is a huge cognitive dissonance in this country where people truly believe themselves righteous. And yet if you were to sit down and use the Bible as a mirror, most people and look at your face, you will find that absolutely nothing that you believe, none of the beliefs that you have, none of the things that you hold in your heart as true, line up with what scripture requires of the righteous. And since we are in the end times and there are only two designations in the earth heading in two different directions, righteous and unrighteous, one to the throne of the Lord for rewards, the other into eternal separation and hellfire with God, then it is truly, truly necessary to know where this nation stands with her God and where each person has the right to choose that they are going. You have absolutely the right to choose where you will end up. God does not put anyone into hell. If you end up in hell, you have earned it. You have worked really hard as in you have labored in your choices. You have labored in your mindset. You have labored in the lusts and the loves of your heart, actions that you carry out and things that you do to make sure that God knows you do not want to follow him. You do not want to honor him. You do not want to line up the words of your mouth with the actual choices that you make every minute of the day. And so at the end of time, anyone who stands before God and God says to him, you are righteous. You have labored to line up your life with what God requires to enter his rest. If you stand before him and he says, you are unrighteous, depart from me. You have also worked hard to earn that estimation from the Lord. God is perfectly just when he judges people and God has judged America. Many people come here and they say, this will not happen if we pray. Revelation 18 is the judgment of the United States. Revelation 18 was in the Bible before this modern nation was created. Revelation 18 is part of Jesus's prophetic word that says, heaven and earth will pass away. My word will never pass away. Therefore, the judgment that is in Revelation 18 stands for the United States, and it will never pass away. It will never stop being true. There is no praying. There is no fasting. There is no national convocation that can be undertaken that will cast off that yoke that God has put around America. And so whether you understand what I'm doing here or not, whether you come here and think, oh, she's creating content, let it be like that to you. If you come here and you say, she's speaking the Lord's prophetic words, then let it be like that to you. If you come here and you mock and scoff, so be it unto you. If you come here as an unbeliever and you listen and God punctures your heart enough to let you know that it is time to stop your mess and find out how to repent and come home to God, let it be like that to you. Whatever it is in your eyes, America and even the whole world, let it be like that unto you. Today, God said to me very early in the morning that it was time to make the prophecy concerning this man. This is the president of Rwanda. His name is Paul Kagame. And God brought this man sharply to my attention on July the 20th, 2022. So this prophecy is more than a month old. 
And the prophecy is simply titled Rwanda Assassination. Um, July 20, 2022 is when I received this prophecy. And so again, the Lord had been saying, you have to make this video with some urgency. But when I woke up this morning, he said to me, Celestial, you will make this video because the sons of Africa will sleep. And God has been talking about how um, Africa would have perished in the hands of her colonizers. He said that the people who overran the land were like ants who had found something sweet and sugary. So you know when ants come upon something that is sweet and sugary, they show that donut or they show that piece of ice cream that has fallen on the ground, no mercy. They will swarm all over it. They will consume it and they will absolutely take every shred of it for themselves. If you come back in two hours, you will wonder, was there a donut lying there? And God says that Africa would have died in the hands of her colonizers if it was not for him. He said that he saved that continent, that he rescued her from the evil doers that meant her evil harm and destruction. But now he said to Africa, he said, actually, just before I made this video, the Lord was saying, Africa, your sons will sleep because the first time they came against you, they intended evil against you. And had it not been for me, had I not intervened and given you your independence state by state, nation by nation, surely they would have destroyed you from the face of the earth and left nothing as a testament to who you are. But God says, I saved you and I brought you out from colonial rule. But now the times have rolled and the times have rolled. And he said, Africa, you have returned to your dark ways. You have gone back to the the shrines of your ancestors. You have gone back to the tokens and totems of your ancestors. You have gone back to your darkened ways. You have begun to worship in the bushes. You have gone back to the gods of the forests. You continue to honor the fallen angels who have created all the false traditions and the false um, belief systems that are operating in Africa at the same time as Christianity. You reject my love. You reject my truth. And so we have come again full circle where once again, once again, your colonizers are upon you. And God says that your sons are going to sleep. And the son that God has been talking about quite frequently is this man, President Paul Kagame, who is the president of one of the very, very much more progressive African nations, a nation that has actually brought itself back from a horrible history of genocide and, and horrific murder, Rwanda. So the banner scripture is this, they hold fast to their evil purpose. They speak of hiding their snares. Who will see them? They say, they devise injustice and they say, we have perfected a secret plan. For the inner man and the heart are mysterious, but God will shoot them with arrows and suddenly they will be wounded. This is Psalm 64 verses 5 to 7. The second scripture is this, woe to those who try to hide their plans from the Lord. Their deeds are done in darkness and they think that no one sees them or knows what they are doing. Isaiah 29 and 15. And so this prophecy is a mix of Rwanda, the DRC, and the United States of America. Here is another part of the banner, which is the things that God will always give me at the top, either the scripture, and when you read the banner scripture on the blog, the banner scripture will tell you almost instantly what the prophecy is going to speak about. So these two banner scriptures that says that there are people who are working evil in the background and they proudly and arrogantly say statements like this, who will see our plans? They also say, we have perfected our secret plan. God says that people's inner man and heart is mysterious, meaning that one person to another, it is very difficult to know what is going on on the inside of a person, but God says he will shoot the evil at with arrows and wound them suddenly. So God is saying that people who plot and plan in the background, he's going to fill them suddenly with arrows and suddenly they will receive fatal wounds. And God is talking here about America. And then he says, woe. Woe is a terrible, sudden punishment that befalls you. Woe is waking up and finding out that there's a cop on the doorstep early in the morning telling you that a loved one who was on their way home from another place did not make it and will never be coming home. That feeling you have, crushing, tearing, despair, 
that is woe. It is a, in the Bible, it is a great and a terrible punishment that rushes suddenly upon a man and he cannot keep his feet when a woe comes to him. God says, this is what is coming to people who make plans in secret. He says, even when they do their deeds in darkness and think that no one sees them or knows what they're doing, he, God, knows. So he gave me a statement. I heard a woman simply say this. So he doesn't want to pay, to play ball. And these are the three women God named that said that he said they say this or they have said this in their lives in the inner chamber when they occupied the seat of power. The first one is Madeline Albright. The second one was Condoleezza Rice, and the third one was Hillary Clinton. All these women have been United States Secretary of State. And he says that this is the phrase, so he doesn't want to play ball. This is the phrase that defines and runs power politics in America. This is the phrase that decides who lives and who dies. I received this message at 520 in the morning on July 20, 2022. The president of Rwanda is going to be killed by the USA. His name is Paul Kagame. His death will not be a natural death. It will be at the hands of the U.S. Special Operations Branch. Now, I have no idea who these people were, so I had to go to Google later, and now I can read to you, as was written in the prophecy, what U.S. Special Operations means. They are the Army Rangers, Green Berets from the Army, SEALs, from the Navy, Marines, the Marine Raider Regiment, something called the Night Stalkers, something called the Psychological Department, and others who occupy the elite, elite top forces of soldiers. The Lord said that Paul Kagame's death, President Paul Kagame is not going to die at anyone's hands except at the hands of special forces meaning that his death will be caused by one or more of these arms of the U.S. covert military. The Lord says that this man is a bold man. This man is firm, uncompromising. He has gold. He has diamonds. The Lord was saying to me at five o'clock in the morning, he has copper and iron ore. He has the thing that goes into cell phones and everybody wants it, but he is in control of the mines. He only gives it out as he feels and by limited contracts. So I had to go and look. And here, um, I found that this mineral is called coltan. When I was given the African prophecy, I could not remember for the life of me what the thing was called. But when I went to look, what is it that goes into cell phones and computers, I said. Google told me that the mineral is called coltan, a highly desirable mineral that you use to make all forms of electronics work. The biggest producer of coltan is the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC. And the Lord was letting me know that DRC is directly linked to this prophecy. He says that the region of the DRC has historically suffered um, a curious habit of presidents who die one after another. And that region has been plagued by endless wars, skirmishes, and rebel leaders. And he said that you cannot divorce that shocking and painful um, instability, social instability. You cannot divorce what you see, the wars and the rebel leaders and the dying presidents from the shocking amounts of coltan that they produce. So the coltan that the DRC has, you cannot separate it from why they have wars, why their presidents consistently die in a row and things like that. And he said they also have high amounts of gold, silver, extremely high quality diamonds, iron ore, and something that he only called mineral rich dirt. And I will speak on that in a moment. There's another term for this, but that term didn't come to me easily. And I still do not know what this dirt is called. The Lord says that the DRC is very resource rich yet it is one of the most militarily unstable countries in the world. And the Lord let me know that DRC is unstable directly because of the intervention of foreign powers into the politics of that country. 
which will be explained more. Now, this mineral rich dirt, I do not know what it's called, but I saw it in a very old prophecy concerning China. I saw in that prophecy, um, when the Lord showed me China, uh, was growing at such a fast rate. I think this was in 2019. I put this prophecy up. I saw China and China was sitting there and then China put out these big glass tubes. So I want you to imagine a tube as big as you want to. It was a massive tube. And these tubes came out of China, like huge vacuum cleaner hoses, but they were made of glass. And so I could see what was passing through the tubes. And what I saw coming through the tubes were, um, a lot of resources that China needs. I even saw in one tube that China was pulling eggs from a country. So China was pulling nothing but eggs. And I was wondering, Lord, who pulls eggs? Eggs are so fragile. Who would ship eggs to their country? Why can't a country produce their own eggs? And Lord said to me, Celestial, this country is growing at such a fast rate. This country cannot even feed itself. This country has no problem wrapping each individual leg because they are egg because they are such hard workers and shipping those eggs home to consume and to feed their rapidly expanding uh, uh, I don't know, economic base or whatever it is. And one of the things I saw being sucked up from Africa, which made no sense to me, was just what looks like red dirt. It just looked like red soil. And I was thinking, who ships dirt? And the Lord was saying to me, that dirt, inside that dirt, are tiny millions of particles of all kinds of minerals um, and things called rare earth that are extremely valuable, but because it doesn't always come in a big lump, like silver or gold might come in a lump, it is easier to get the dirt, take it there and treat it for its value. So that is what I saw, this mineral rich dirt coming through the pipeline into China and DRC has a lot of it. Now God says that here are the reasons Pe President Paul Kagame is going to be killed. President Paul Kagame keeps a very tight rein on the, on the resources of Rwanda. So God says that he gives out limited contracts for the resources. And the Lord says that this does not suit America or other Western countries because they like very long leases. They like 30 or 40 year leases. They also do not like to comply with the laws of a country, especially when they feel as God says that they are better than that country. When they feel that this is just a small, irrelevant country, you don't have this, you don't have that. And do you know who we are? God says that um, American companies hate to abide by the laws, residence laws, tax laws, labor laws of other countries, and they routinely flout the laws, break the laws. They want special laws for them. But I already shared in past prophecies what happens when as a nation, you build up companies that don't want to play by the rules. You build up companies that don't even know their corporations, but they think that they are separate countries unto themselves. I shared in past prophecies, and I will not go into this too much because this is an African prophecy for Africa. But when you build monsters at home, it is those very monsters that I saw will come to the doors of Americans' homes and take people away to kill. U.S. government has no money to speak of. And so I saw when they were carrying out their state mandated executions, they did not have the money to, to have a military that can go across this huge continent and get everybody. Amazon was helping them. Um, Microsoft and companies like Apple and companies like... Um, Companies, in, even in the financial sector, these companies, believe it or not, you may not want to hear it, but that is up to you. These companies will have so much money in the future that they had standing armies. I didn't say mercenaries. I said standing armies. They had, they could issue them weapons. They, just the way a country has an army, these corporations had armies and it was the corporations, um, people who were helping the new world order cops in black come to the doors. And so to get back to this, um, the companies that come to these countries, they want the minerals, but they do not want a three to five year lease that the Lord says, Paul Kagame will review the lease at the end of the short term. He will come back to the lease agreement and say, you guys were mining a hundred 
pounds per minute. At this rate, you were paying us for three to five years, plus inflation, plus economics, plus changes in the market. We're going to review the terms and we're going to go up to current market rate. The Lord says that America doesn't want that. American companies don't want that. And that is one of the primary reasons this man is going to lose his life because he keeps making sure that the contract amount to be paid to the country will be based on current market value, based on what other people would pay in other countries like the EU. Paul Kagame is one of those people who feels if you will pay, pay Britain this, if you will pay France this for their stuff, we want to be at that same level. Um, he says that this country can easily suspend the license of a foreign company or revoke the foreign company's rights if Rwanda feels that African workers are being treated poorly, if African workers are being assaulted, he says that if the company is doing too much environmental damage, so mining and then not fixing the environment, mining and just leaving what is called a slag pit, you mine, 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 and then you just leave this huge hole in the earth, you don't do anything to prevent, so that in five years that whole area doesn't wash away, wash away the villagers, all the trees, their goats, you just destroy the land. Landscape. He does not accept things like that. He's, God says that foreign companies, Western companies hate this sort of treatment. They prefer the type of leases that easily outlasts two to three presidents in a region, meaning that they want the kind of lease that is so long that you will sign it. And that country will have elections three times before that lease ends. <sighs> God says that it makes America furious to be treated like it's an ordinary nation, like any ordinary nation. Most of all, God says Paul Kagame has guts and he continues to say no to things like gay sex, homosexuality, or legalizing gay marriage. God says that this has greatly infuriated the United States in their dealings with this man and they're tired of him. So I didn't write all this, but God just says that they're fed up with him and they have already made a decision with him. And that is why I said in the Africa prophecy that the feeling that came to my heart is that it is a done deal about this man, that they are going to take him out for these things. He will go where the president of Haiti and the president of Venezuela went, said the Lord. The Lord said that South American leaders also have fallen prey to American hands, that much of their national upheavals, so their political instability and their wars, the Lord says that it is instigated by their neighbor to the North, meaning that America is the puppet master and you suddenly see, oh, Brazil is having this and oh, this is happening in Chile. But the Lord says that behind the curtain, the neighbor to the North is calling the shots. Father said, Paul Kagame will go where everyone who says no to America goes. The United Nations can't protect him. His own government forces can't protect him. He will be assassinated. He has gold and diamonds. He has that, pre that precious trigger for electronics. But unfortunately for him, these were God's exactly word, too bad for him. He also has the guts to stand up to America and that will not be tolerated. And therefore, President Paul Kagame will be killed. The Lord has mentioned this man to me before, but this was only in personal conversation, saying that he is representative of all people, meaning his death is just another tick, another notch in the U.S. belt. He represents the people who maintain a hard line against U.S. politics wherever that country's politics does not line up with America's politics. So God says, whenever a president has a divergent view from what America would like them to do, what America would like to say, well, we would like to see you legalizing or easing up your anti-gay laws. We would like to see more freedom for the LGBT flag to fly. We would like to see you change your stance on abortion. Whenever a president has views on what is best for his country, God says that that person goes where everyone who says no to America goes. So God says that in the future, when you hear that this man has lost his life and they're bringing it and saying, President Paul Kagame, unfortunately today, killed by his own bodyguards, such as they said about the president of DRC many years ago. President Paul Kagame, unfortunately, the victim of a national coup. 
God says, whatever you hear, the United States of America planned his death and gave the order for it out of frustration of being resisted by someone they feel is beneath them. His death will be by U.S. Special Forces Branch. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you for visiting the Master's Voice. I am Celestial. Thank you to all of you who support the channel. I am thankful for your support. I am praying for those who come to this channel to have a listening ear. A listening ear is something that you need more than your own opinion. This is the problem with the people who come here. And to those of you who come and you say, we are listening, we are listening. It is always straining upon my heart to tell you that you appear not to have the full understanding of what you are really in the midst on you, the midst of you say, we are listening, we are listening. And yet you know that in your household of four, five, six, eight, you are the only one who listens. So you are saying, no, believe us, we're listening. And yet here in America with 340 million almost, or maybe that number has dropped because of the harm that causes harm. I haven't kept up to date. But you know that you are one little stalk of wheat in a whole bushel, and you can't get the other stalks to listen. And yet you believe that one out of eight, one out of four, or sometimes in many households, zero out of zero is going to be enough to turn the tide of the judgment that God says will come here. And this is why in the old days, I labored in a series that was simply called deceit, deception, because God says that is the stance. Even if you love the Lord and you receive the Lord's word, it is deception to think that there are enough who listen, enough who agree. Do you know what this channel is meant to produce? It is meant to not produce agreement. I'm not here for you to agree with me. These are not my words. Nobody sits and comes out with 400 prophecies, 400 plus in print, and I've only just passed maybe 230 in videos. So that means I'm only halfway done. And I've already said that not every prophecy that is written down will be a video. That means that there are a ton of things that I'm never going to make a video for. And that means there's a ton of things that a, a large slice of the viewers are never going to hear because they're never going to bother to go back to the blog and read it. Again, that is your choice. But one in three, one in five, one in eight, and in many cases, atheist households, households that don't care about God, zero in zero, how can it turn back the tide of the judgment that God says will come? If you can't convince your family, then why are you convinced that enough people will meet the criteria of if my people? This is deception. When you are deceived, it can only end in pain when you realize that the expectation of your gut is not going to fit the reality that will come. Africa, Paul Kagame will sleep. And God says, because you have gone back to the sacred groves and you continue to offer sacrifices to your father's gods, your father's 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 gods, and you have forgotten who brought you out of slavery and brought you into independence. When your modern sons start sleeping, gather together and pray that you will not fall into the same chains that you were in once before. This is Celestia with the master's voice. Until I see you again, goodbye.